Okay, I had a friend asking how I load my net and how to throw a net. Uh, so I'm going to make a video. I'm going to go ahead and forewarn you. I'm not the best at uh, throwing a net. I'm not the best at loading a net. But this is how I do it. Uh, you will get wet when you do it my way. I wear bibs, waterproof boots, and a raincoat. Because after the first throw, the way I load it, you end up getting soaking wet. Uh, first thing I do is I go ahead and grab my, my loop on my rope and I put it around my arm on my lanyard and cinch it down somewhat tight. From there, I, make, I start making loops. I make mine somewhat small because when I load the net, I want my loops to be above my loops in my net. If my rope gets below the loops in the net, it can get tangled up when you throw it. So I make mine somewhat short, probably about 16 inches per loop. I go ahead and pull my horn up to me. Uh, if I'm in the boat by myself, I'll lay it down the side of the boat, get everything straight, make sure that I don't have any tangles in my net. This time I had thrown my net, so I'll pull it up like this. Once I get my horn to me, this net, this particular net, has about six inches of braille line that hangs up outside of the, uh, of the horn. So I'll go ahead and get a hold of my horn. I'll, I'll just grab it in my right hand right on top of the rope. From that point, you want to find a, an area that you can index. After you've thrown your net a few times, you'll find out where that point is. I've got an area where the net is sewn together from the manufacturer. I get a, a loop about three to four inches below that, and then all I do is lay that into my right hand. So I have my rope, my horn, and then a loop, the first loop in my right hand. From that point, I'll pull the net up. I'll go ahead and check it one more time. Make sure there's no knots in the bottom. Nothing's tangled up. I go just below my crotch uh, for my second loop. So I'll get it. I'll bundle it up. Again, just lay it into my right hand, just on top of the, the first loop. So I have second loop, first loop, horn, and then the rope, all in my right hand. From this point, I, I start gathering a small bundle from the left side, uh, about a quarter, maybe a third at the most of the net, usually about a quarter. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. Once I have this little bit in my, right, uh, in my left hand, I have to go under my right elbow and over my shoulder. So I have that bunch laying on my shoulder. That's where you start getting wet. From that point, I gather the inside line, the piece that's closest to me, and I start pulling it around my left side. This time I'll take about half of what's left and put it around my left side. Once I have that bundle on my left side, I'll take this, this section that's got the weights on it, I'll put it between my pinky and my second finger. That's where I'll hold it. That's the last thing that comes loose when I throw this net. I have that between my pinky and second finger. The rest of the bundle that's on the left side, I just gather with these three fingers and hold it. At this point, I'm ready to throw. It's gonna be an ugly throw. I've not thrown a net in five or six weeks, but uh, I'll go ahead and throw it for y'all.